Welcome back to my channel guys. Thank you. Thank you very much for being back to watch another video here on my kitchen. Today I'm going to have to cook something very that I never made before, but something that is going to be absolutely delicious. And I'm talking about a squash and zucchini and spaghetti. Just like you heard, squash and zucchini and spaghetti is something very, very delicious. So if you are wanting to learn how to get it done, if you want to see how I execute this recipe, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, hit the bell for notifications, and don't forget to share this video on any platform that you have. You can do it on Instagram, on Twitter, you can share it on Facebook, also on YouTube. Thank you very much, and let's not lose any more time, and let's get to the recipe. So the first thing you want to do is, you are wanting to get a skinny and a squash, of course. And you are going to cut then the small pieces. Once you haven't cut, you want to use a pen and you're going to put them in a pen. And also you're going to cut a whole onion and you're going to stir fry the zucchini, the squash and the onions for around 12 minutes or until they get cooked don't forget that you have to keep stir stirring stir because you don't want the food to stick to the pan okay right now you want to add a little a little bit of pepper black pepper and a little bit of salt as you can see you can see the pepper and the salt and all ingredients combining together. And after you have all that together, you want to include your hamburger meat. And you are going to start taking it apart. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Take it apart. And as soon as you take it apart, you are going to start mixing all together. Once everything is mixed and it looks like it's cooked, now you want to add two spoons of tomato paste. And if you need a little bit more, just you can add another spoon. And this is a chicken cube, a uh, chicken tomato paste that I have right here. Right now, you want to put a water on a pan and start cooking your noodles. I'm using fettuccine noodles just because I love them the most, I like them a lot. Add a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil so that way your noodles doesn't stick to the pan. And they are absolutely ready. So now since you have your meat that is ready, the noodles are ready, you are ready to combine them together. And look how beautiful these look. With a spoon, Start combining them together slowly. Look at that, guys. This has an amazing smell. This is completely awesome. I really recommend for you to make this at home. It's a really, really good recipe that I'm sharing with you today. The color, the smell, it is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the serving and we're gonna put it on a plate. Look at that, how beautiful. You can see the zucchini, the squash, you can smell the meat, the spices. This is an absolutely delicious recipe. If you like this video, 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave your comment down below hit the bell for notifications and remember if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for being here thank you very much for all the support and thank you very much for trusting my work on every single video i will see you next time with another recipe on rap kitchen